Hey, this is weird, isn't it? Wider, not like this, blocky, you know, not like... It's not like blocky or anything like that, you know. Um, there's a reason for this, because I need my phone, and I'm using my laptop. Like, if I do that, you can see. Laptop. Here's a fucking... I don't know. This video is kind of important. It's gonna be an update thing, and well, not update, but it's gonna be like me going to tell you what I'm possibly could be planning for the future. Now, thing you need to know about me first is I believe in spirit shit and all this spiritual shit, like um. Ghost hunting stuff, the paranormal, um, tarot cards, stuff like that, crystals. I have a couple of crystals, so I don't use them for anything. But that's mainly because I'm an empath. An empath, basically, there's different versions. There's like animal, physical, um, plant. I'm a physical and an animal. I can sense animals' emotions and humans' emotions. But I'm all. But because I'm an empath, I'm somewhat connected to the spiritual world as well. I've been man I've managed to sense spirits. I can't see them physically. I can sense auras, like the glowing, different color that's around people's bodies. Um, you can Google this stuff up if you want to know ex explain. I need more of an explanation. Um. Well, essentially, I can see the origin stuff. So I can't see spirits. I can see like a vague outline, and I can mainly sense them. Now, I think I was able to do this. Be I think I was an empath before I even clicked. Oh, I'm an empath, and I know how long ago it was that I know. Let me try that again. I think I know when I first started to become one. Without realising. There's a video on my YouTube channel. I don't know if you guys remember. If some of you watch this and... You've been watching my channel for a long time. I mean, about four or five years, something like that. And you're one of the 33 people who viewed this video. Then you'll know which video I'm on about. Um, if not, I'll be showing you it anyway. Not like, the, not like playing the video, but... It's a video I made titled... Abandoned Asylum slash Home, meaning more people's home. This was four years ago, 33 views. That one right there. Let me see if I can... There you go, there. I'm in the... It looks like I'm in the woods, though. Um, But when recording that, as soon as, because we went there before, I think this might be, yeah, this would be a different video, because we've, we've been there before, um, with his brother. If you don't know who I'm on about, I'm talking about Ezra, or Ezgi, or Era, or Viper, or, he's got so many names, he's got more names than me, like, but we went there before with his brother, and I'm pretty, yeah, it was, the time we went with his brother, we walked in, and there was two bad omens. The first bad omen, as soon as we walked in, me, just me, found a wooden box. I'm a bit of a junk rat, okay? I can find things on the floor, like, oh, that could be useful, oh, that looks nice. And I'll, and I'll draw, get drawn to them. Things like that. So I saw this one box, picked it up, opened it, and what was inside? 
a little vial, little glass vial of fucking holy water. Bad omen number fucking one. Yet we still went inside further and explored the rest of the building. We didn't, on that day, we didn't go downstairs, downstairs, because the stairs were a bit fucked, but we eventually did go downstairs, but I didn't record anything, like, I didn't want to record anything else in there, because last time, which was four years ago, I did, for some reason, my phone started recording again, recording, like, another video, I didn't post that one, I was like, no, nah, I'm not, it's just, I don't think I've got that footage anymore, though, um, because it was on my old phone, I don't know if it transferred over or not. I'd have to have a look through the archives. I'd have to look through everything. But since she started recording again, and I went, and when we got back to Ezra's house, we looked, and I saw it. I was like, my phone recorded it again. Recorded. Started recording again while we were in there. This is on the same day we found the holy water, by the way. This is afterwards. I'll get into the second bad omen there. And he was like, that's weird. Let's check it out. So he checked it out. And it was me, him, and his brother. But I don't recall recording at all. I don't, re like, I'm not making hands down. Pull hands up. I ain't making the show. Um, because in that video, it wasn't, it wasn't with, uh, Ezra and that, Ezra and his partner at the time. On that day, I recorded with him and his brother, but the video quality was a bit crap, the first one, and then it started recording again. Why? I have, n I have no idea. Like, it's, I'm just looking here, it's not anywhere on my channel, it's not anywhere beforehand. Uh, yeah, it's not anywhere beforehand, the only thing I've got beforehand, because I went old to new. All I've got beforehand is COD Black Ops 4 with Azuri, Fuck the Haters, Possible Smite, Announcement, Confession, Stuff About Chalky, Try Not Laughs. My first Monsanto drink test test. Ultra red, nice. And all the overall stuff. Like nothing to do. Um like nothing else to do with the Bannon Asylum. Now the second battle, right? When we walked in. So I found the vial, we continued to walk in, dumbest fucking idea we haven't made. We walked into this room, and all, all three of us did. And what do we see? An Ouija board, not just, not a regular Ouija board, you buy a makeshift one, someone made it. And Ezra looked at me and went, Come on, you need to help me close it. And I looked at him, I went, you can fuck right off. Because I don't mess with Ouija boards. No way. I, back then I didn't, and I I kind of believed in this stuff. I believe it in it a lot more now. And I'll explain why. Uh, like, oh no, I was just like, nah, I've, I've never met. I was not messing with the Ouija board. I never will, never have. I'll play about with a pendulum, yeah, because that's just something hanging up. It uses the energy, it swings. Ouija boards? Nah. Fuck no. No. Like, I'll fuck with a spirit box if we had one. Uh, I will I would gladly do this thing called an Estes method and shit like that. The mirror shit? Yeah, fuck yeah. I, I, I'd, I'd be happy to do that. Um, but on a Ouija board? Nah. Fuck no. We should have gotten out there when we saw the Ouija board because it was open still. Not closed. That's not a fucking good thing. But I think he closed it himself. I don't know if he did it managed to do it properly or not. Um I actually think 
the shit with his brother, him, me and him, me, him and his brother was after that video actually, sometime after that, yeah it was sometime after that, I don't know because we found, no because I found the holy water first, so we're... I'm fucking, com I've confused myself now yeah, but um, we should have left as soon as we saw the Ouija board, I'm not gonna lie, but we didn't, we pressed on further. And then, like, we're fucking idiots because I think in the video, I don't know, I'm pretty sure we took stuff. No. When we were doing it with Ezra's brother, he took the holy water home, which might be okay. I'm not too sure. But I think I took something back with me. And he also took electrical plants because they were spot. Because in the building, it got set fire twice. Um, first time was like I don't know how long like dates of this shit we just know because when we went there it looked like the place was burnt down quite a lot there was notes and stuff and we found like a fail safe like not sprinklers I think it was like electric or like some sort of sprinkler system shit that was supposed to be put in place but it never was, and we I think we figured out that with the like piece of paper we found that says it was never installed, I think we also figured out that a fire happened after a day or a couple of days after it was supposed to be installed. We don't know if it's on purpose or by accident or like Yeah. But like we found books from like the 1900s, fucking, all sorts in there, which could be, but they looked like old, old, like, not stuff like, oh, here's a new, here's a new copy of this book, um, to mint condition, no, this looked like it was made in the 1900s, and not rewritten into a newer, into another book, as like, a more updated copy, no, this looked like, genuinely was made from the 1900s. And like it looked like it had a bit of water damage or like fire damage, shit like that. It was Yeah. And that book is in the video I made four years ago. Now with me I love that spirit shit. I watched Sam and Kobe quite a bit. Last night I was watching fucking Selena Spooky Boo and Call Me Chris. But there's these two people. There's two people that if you've watched Sam and Kobe, well, you've most likely have. They're Hell Week shit. They were also doing this thing where they stayed at the Conjuring House for I can't remember how many days. But there's these two people that I'm intrigued by quite a bit. Um I think their name's Jacob and Centauri. History. Let me f see. So I watched their video where that because people have been saying that they do the fake, the this, the stuff in their shoes. There's like there's people have been watching Peter Pig on my channel. Someone's been on my account. And like, peep this, yeah, Corby and Satori, not Jacob, Corby and Satori. Um, people have been saying they're hiding stuff in their shoes and their socks because basically what happens is, say, this is one of their arms and this is another, the other person's arm. They have to do this, they have to touch each other, or like any type of physical connection thing, and they can speak to the dead. You'll hear stuff like... But as if it's like someone walking with shoes on. But the thing is though, I believe them. I know if, if someone watches this and they've watched them and they disagree, they 
to a part like, well, 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 well you fucking idiot because, be, 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 because it's not me. Shut the fuck up, cuz. I'm a lot of my beliefs, Jews can have your beliefs, but I believe them. Because, how would you explain the fact that some in the, the video where they first see this for the first time, that like experience what they can do for the first time, they end up hearing the knocking upstairs and they feel the vibrations on the floor. You could say, oh, they've got stuff rigged. They even looked up at the ceiling for like when it came to the stuff on the ceiling. They even looked up at the ceiling and you could see that there was no wires, no nothing. If there was was wires, they would be really visible. There was no speakers. They looked around the whole thing. No speaker systems anywhere. And as for stuff in their shoes, in a couple of videos after, they took them to a random location they didn't even know about. They had they made them take their shoes off. Well, they didn't force them. They were just like, look, can it? so then we can prove that this isn't fake. And they did. They took the shoes off. They even give them shoes they just bought so they know there wasn't stuff in the shoe. Like, and you just can be like, oh, well, why don't they do it barefoot then? And, well, no. No. One... That's just wrong. Two, I don't think they'd be fucking comfortable with take, having their shoes off in front of people. Like, it might just be me. I, I do, unless it's my partner or like family members, I'll have my socks on. Thank you very fucking much. Um, but I believe them, and it got me thinking. I want to start doing some ghost, not hunting, but like go, ghost exploring stuff. I, I want to visit some people that do tarot cards, um, the fucking palm reading and all that stuff. Maybe I can see about finding someone who, who knows voodoo. I'd have to look online. Because I'm in fucking, I'm in the U fucking K. I'm in the UK. I'd have to probably travel all across the UK to find places either that's haunted or that has people like that. If not, further in the future, when I'm able to fly, I'm going to go to America. Because one of the... And I'm going to see about trying to contact them, uh, Cody and Satori, but it'll be probably further along in the future because they said that they're, not, that they're still going to be doing helping people but they're not gonna be doing camera stuff like they're not gonna be doing tests so i'm not wanting to wave a camera in their face like oh it's all right if i come wave a camera in your face so i can mm. no um that's not what i'm gonna do sorry loose skin I also want to go to spiritualists and, spiritualists and stuff like that, and people who do tarot cards and all that stuff, the Wiccan stuff and the witch stuff, well, witch stuff. Because um, I have some questions. Because this was ages ago, this was, this was a long time ago. I was laid in bed. I woke up and I couldn't move. I thought it was a night terror situation. You know, the th things that your brain tricks yourself to see, blah, blah, blah. But when I saw it, I was able to quickly jump out of bed instantly as soon as I saw it. Now, that's not what's supposed to happen. What's supposed to happen is you see it, you can't move until it does whatever it does. Then you're able to move. But I saw it at the end of my bed. It was like, l not looming over me. It was like, like, um, my finger's bleeding. Yeah, my... Oh, fuck. Why is it tangled? God damn it. All right, I'm going to try and just... Fuck's it. This is going to be either really dumb or it's going to explain. 
So say this is the like bottom of my bed, and say this was the thing. The this part no, the mouth part to head. It wasn't like looming over. It was like there, like down, like its head was peeking through up, and then it was then it was like that, and then jumped. As it went to jump, I moved. I don't know what was. Well, now at the time I didn't know what was. Jesus Christ, I'm bleeding a lot. Don't bite your fingers. Ah, blood. Let me just. This is what I do when I'm bleeding. Um. Now at the time I didn't. Like at the time I didn't know what the fuck happened. A couple of days passed. It never happened again. But. I don't think it left. I know it hasn't left now. Because, again, this was a long, long time ago. I think it was, like, either last year or the year before. Something like that. And I think whatever it was, at that, at, well, I know what it is now. But I'm not going to say it yet. I entered my body. Now, because I still thought it was a night terror... <laughs> I give it a name, it's probably stupid, and because I still thought it was a night terror, I love alliterations by the way, I called him Terry the Night Terror. And then my partner at the time, you've seen on here, I'm not going to go into details about them, they were able to see it. Because sometimes we'll be walking at night or something like that, like... I don't know, one day we were walking from town back to Man, and there was this cut-off area. I don't know, I think we were hanging around with Ezra and that, and his partner. There's There was this cut-off thing where it has, like, black bars, you have to, like, swerve round, and then it leads down to a field. I was like, oh, do you want to take this way? It'll be quicker. So I, I, I could see it as well, just make sure we were able to see the same thing, because I knew what knew what, what it was. They were like, oh, it's a tall shadow figure with, shadow looking figure with dark red glowing eyes. I was like, wait, you can see this motherfucker too. They said yes, I was like, that's my night terror. I didn't think other people could see night terrors. They were like, I don't think it's a night terror. I was like, what the fuck's going on here then? They said to me that they, for 100%, think it's a shadow man or a shadow person. I know they are ba supposed to be bad, but this one, chill. Whenever we go to go, whenever we used to go to go down places and that were like dark and that, he would stand there as like a warning, like, no, don't come down here, danger, get to light. And because I found out he was a shadow man, I, I give him a new name. <laughs> I need to stop giving these entities name, <laughs> this entity a name. But I call them Steve. Full name. Shadow Man Steve. I'm laughing because thinking now it's so. I'm thinking about it now. It's so fucking stupid. I call. I gave a Shadow Man a name that's an alliteration and I call him Shadow Man Steve. You can believe me if you want. You don't have to, like. I know for a fact it's the truth because I've experienced this shit. Um, but anyway, I also want I want to ask them the people like that who do the spiritual stuff if he is generally shadow man or if it was just a night because I I'm not too sure. Like, 
How about 50-50? 50% it could have been just night terror, but then how was my partner able to see it a couple of times? And then the other half is like, okay, then it must be a shadow man, but he hasn't done anything malevolent against me. I don't know if shadow men are supposed to be always malevolent, but yeah. Another thing I want to ask them is if I do have any attachments. Like, because I know I, I will have attachments, like, my family members, like, my Auntie Joyce, my Uncle Adrian, um, my Auntie's dog, Blue, and then another dog, Roger, who I had when I was, well, I didn't have my Auntie that had when I was very young. Um... But I don't know if there's any other, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm, I don't want to say the D word. Um, and I'm not talking about fucking dick. Um, just so I know if I'm safe. Because I feel like that I might have some sort of attachment like that. Because, again, with the whole abandoned building situation there. And the fact that we found an Ouija board that was open. Who knows what could have possibly attached itself to me. I don't want to see if I'm safe. Because I feel like I blame myself a lot for my breakups and shit. And for everything else that happens to me somewhat. But sometimes it feels like, oh, I finally got a break. I'm finally with someone who I think could be the love of my life and that. And then either I do something to fuck it up or something happens to make it fuck up. That ends up either not my fault or the other person's fault. Weird. So, yeah. I also want to get my tarot cards read to see what my future would be like. Mainly to see if I'll get another partner because I have a... I have a big fear of being and dying a lot. So I don't want to die alone. No one ever wants to die alone. But I've had 16 partners through my lifetime. I'm 21. But I don't know, I'm like, oh, you'll find the right one eventually. Yeah, I end up finding one that could be the fucking right one. That makes me super happy. That under- actually truly understands me and doesn't, like, make me feel like shit. Yeah, it fails. So, I mean, I was like, yeah, well, it wouldn't, must have been the right one. But, like, deep down at the time and that, I feel like they were the one. And there's one person, looking back, that I feel like was definitely the one. And I, uh, fucked it up. And I'm not talking about the ex that you've seen on camera. This is a different one. This one was tall of him. <laughs> she, um, meant everything to me. And I fucked it up. Like, I'd normally fuck everything up. But I was willing to try and do everything, get a certain chance. They didn't want to. I'm not. I haven't. I did see them at one point in town. I just didn't talk to them. I just try to look at them through the corner of my eye because they were looking at me. And I swear I saw them, like, smile kind of at me. And then they walked away. And that, and then I ended up seeing them again because I was going to the bus station. But I was like, you know what? I'm not going to get a bus. I'm just going to continue walking through the bus station because, yeah, I felt awkward and that. 
And the only reason I'm feeling like this right now is because I had a dream about them earlier. So that was fun. Got a bit depressed. I had a depressing dream about them. And then earlier, before even recording this, I went out to town and had a burger. Well, a McDonald's. So, yeah. <laughs> to try and cheer myself up. It worked. Mainly the hot chocolate I got there. Oh my god, McDonald's the McDonald's have got caramel hot chocolate. Amazing. Not the best hot chocolate I've had though. Best of hot chocolate I've had is a white hot chocolate from a place called Ice Stones. The hot chocolate from McDonald's I just had today. Second best. Then there's a cafe called Cafe Nero. Favourite hot chocolate, like regular hot chocolate, it's the best. So that would be my third. And then fourth would be McDonald's' regular hot chocolate. Because it, to be honest, I feel like it tastes better than what it used to be. Because when I used to drink, get it as a one-off, it would be watery. Just, it was like hot chocolate water. Not think I didn't contest any like creamy milkiness or anything. It was like proper watery. But yeah. Um by the way, while this video ends well, when I say this video You watching this will be fucking confused. When this video is uploading, whilst this video is uploading for me, not for you, I'll be live on YouTube. On Overwatch, I finished. Well, not completely finished. You know the when you finish the battle pass, then there's stuff afterwards to get like name stuff, like stuff on your name card thing. I've just got that stuff, but I, I'm not gonna be trying to get all of them. I don't really like them that much. The, I've gotten two with them. I've got completed the whole battle pass with my concern, for my concern, um. Can't wait until the new next one comes up. Well, I wonder what the other one, that next one's going to be. <gasps> Mostly a Christmas one, actually. I want to get Christmas. I don't like Christmas, but I want to get Christmas skins. So then it's like I am being festive. I've got quite a few Halloween skins and I love them a lot. Um, yeah. Also, this is a 32 minute fucking video. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Pardon me. It's also two minutes past 20. And as you can see, <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to blow smoke in your face. Um, anyway, uh, yes, I am wearing this umbrella corporation Resident Evil necklace like I was, have been in a recent video, or maybe it was a live. Pretty sure it was a video. Just cleaning the blood off my finger. And the dry blood off my finger. No. Bit of a bad quality. That better. Hmm. Uh, um, but yeah, I'm gonna be going on Overwatch live. What I'm gonna do though is quickly show you something. I forgot I've got quite... There's a thing called Battle.net, so you can play with people that run up, like... With people that are on different consoles and stuff. I forgot I've got people on here. I've got someone called Josh Bosch, Evie, Rain, Julia Combs, Scrubcat, <laughs> Expert Killer. 
Got it because of that. But no, I don't want to say I'm a wee. Why is it? No, wait, wait. My profile. Um, this. It's not showing up quite that well. This. Pause it if you. Pause if you need to. This is my bottleneck profile. So if you just want to add that. And then if you see me online. Uh, most, I'm either probably not live though. So most of the time when I am online. Uh, but you can. Um, check if I'm online. And you can join me. Um, I also have a discord. Which none of you have fucking joined, by the way. Which I'm a bit upset with. I made the Discord for you fuckers, and none of you have fucking joined. If I go up my Discord. Yep, no one's joined. Who's this? SDK USBX. Who the fuck are you? Okay. Weird. But oh, you just can join my Discord, please, because then you can talk to me on the um so yeah i'm gonna end this video so i can get set up to go live as well as let this upload um but before i do go please don't forget to hit the like button you don't have to it just helps me it just helps me know if you like this type of content um you can even dislike it if you don't like me just sitting down here Talking to you guys at this, giving you updates. Oh, I forgot I meant. Oh, yeah, did I mention the fact I'm go? Yeah, I'm gonna be doing ghost stuff. I did mention that. Um, but you can even dislike this the video. So then, in case you don't like me doing sitting down and talking about stuff I'm gonna be doing in the future, or possibly doing in the future, if you do like my content and you want to see more of my content, why don't you press subscribe? It's up to you. You don't have to if you don't want to. I've got, what, 56 now? From what I remember. I think it's 56 or 57 from what I remember. Fifty-seven. Yeah. I've got 278 views. Eight videos. How many views do I have all together? No, that's community. There we are. Four thousand five hundred forty-five views altogether. Damn. Yeah, in my community section, there's the link to my Discord. Join it! For the love of fucking God, Jesus Christ! But yeah, subscribe if you want to, you don't have to. Um, if you do, if you do subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell icon on desktop and on mobile. 
so then you can get notified of when I next upload my sub par content. Because it will also help it'll help you out by notifying you of when I'm either live straight away or whenever I am uploaded a video. But you have to make sure the bell is on all, not partial. It will also help me out because it'll help push my notifications out to you guys. Because I care about you guys. I The reason I make content is for you guys. Like, even if I make you laugh without silly stupid arm. Uh, or if, like, I bring up a topic that, you're, that resonates with you. It's like, oh, yeah. Resonate with. Or if I make you feel happy in some sort of way. Then, yeah. So... Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys have a great night because, again, it's 20, so... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's 11 past... 11... Yeah, 11 past 8. Sorry, I'm... I'm I, I like digital time, but, like, trying to figure out what is an analog is... Anyway... Goodbye. Have a good night, day, afternoon, whenever you end up seeing this video. Bye.